Hello, everybody. Happy Wednesday. Welcome back to another edition of Phil's Five. Gosh, I hope you're staying warm out there. It looks like we're in for a whole lot of winter over the next week, so uh, that's going to be a challenge. Be sure to bundle up. Uh, got some progress, though, to report. I think every time I've been starting with some EO comments about the Dallas permitting issue, and as I had mentioned before, we do have the third parties now working as of last Thursday trying to get through more than 400 homes that have stacked up in the queue there uh, that constitute the massive delays and the crippling delays that we have well reported on. Uh, it looks like from the most recent check of the city website, the timelines that were up to 15 weeks in terms of delay are now down to eight weeks. So they are starting to trend towards the two to three weeks that we'd want it to be. Uh, one challenge on this though, and this is something I've I've given to city staff is we have some third parties involved that just in and of themselves could knock out those 400 plan reviews in about a week, maybe two at the very most. And I've been urging staff just to give them that task and get this done as soon as possible. There is no reason to wait till the end of March to get around to this, which is what the city had suggested before. So we are staying on them to try to chew through these as quick as we can and get back to our two to three week goal. I'd love to have the reality back again where we're doing same day. Perhaps in this socially distant world, we're not gonna get there anytime soon, but at least just be on par with what a functional, functional city looks like in terms of turning these things around. Uh, another big turnaround that I've seen is with the uh, customer service. And this has been a big item that city council members have uh, justifiably harped on because they've heard from you, they've heard from me where that was lacking in a lot of areas, mainly just trying to figure out where your project is in the queue and when it's gonna ultimately get through. Uh, there have been some improvements. The things that have come to my desk and the things that uh, council members have heard from their constituents, those are getting much more, especially in the last few days, prompt responses from the city. And I gotta give credit to development director, Chris Sweckard for uh, leading by example there, and I really hope that it keeps up. So we'll have a comprehensive update up on DallasBuilders.org talking about that issue, but uh, I think it's still more positive than negative in that regard. Another really big positive is that our leadership gave us the opportunity to donate some of the excess hand sanitizer that uh, we had accumulated as it was certainly needed, especially early on in the pandemic when it was hard to come by. Uh, but then as we had gotten just about 3,000 gallons out onto area job sites, the demand from the industry kind of dried up. And that really created a great opportunity to look out into the community and say, hey, where, where can this make a difference? And there are two areas that we've donated to where it will make a difference. Uh, one is in South Dallas, you've seen a lot of vaccine registration centers and vaccine sites in the underserved communities in our city. And that's where uh, several hundred gallons of hand sanitizer have gone to, uh, to make sure that that process stays safe in areas that need to have access to the life-saving vaccines that thankfully we have and we're starting to administer out there. Uh, the other place that they went is Plano and Dallas ISDs where that is certainly a regular ingredient in every classroom now and trying to ensure that the sanitation is able to be maintained in those classrooms to uh, limit the spread in schools that need to be open and need to have as safe of a learning environment as, as possible. So I was really honored to do that. I was really happy that our leadership made that decision. We do still have small quantities of sanitizer and masks around. So while supplies last, we'll still be uh, getting those out and you can check out dallasbuilders.org for that as well. Uh, another thing kind of sticking with this dallasbuilders.org theme is you can find our 2021 marketing guide on there. It is updated frequently. It's got our schedule of events. So you want to see what's coming up both virtual and in person. There's plenty of both on there. There's a flip book that you can get as a PDF at dallasbuilders.org forward slash marketing hyphen materials. And you can check that out in the punch list. There'll also be a link to it as well. Uh, you should have also received, and I think many of you have already completed it, and we had some good response early on, is a communication survey. Every so often we want to check in 
with you all and make sure that we're hitting the mark with what we're trying to convey, uh, whether it's through this video or otherwise. Uh, that was emailed yesterday afternoon, so be sure to check that out, and that's really going to guide our future communications efforts. We always do our best to try to listen to you and make sure that we're on the mark with what we're trying to push out there and making sure that it's addressing the things that keep you up at night and helping us be the glue that binds the housing industry together. And I think that's a great transition to the last thing that I had here is that TAB is going to have, and this is with Rally Day, uh, galvanizing our voice to our state legislature, TAB is going to have a virtual legislative briefing on February 18th where you can register at texasbuilders.org and you'll uh, get to attend a few of you at least, our more traditional rally day that's now rescheduled to April 13th. And I think that'll be a good time where there's still plenty going on in the session and hopefully we're at a better place in terms of being able to access the Capitol, our legislators, and just the rest of society at that point. So that's all I have for right now. Be sure to check back here early and often and uh, stay, stay warm out there and we'll see you next week. Thanks.